Welcome to today's Grow It Green. We're at Monadnock Berries in Troy. I'm joined by Rachel Messini from UNH Cooperative Extension. And Rachel, it's the time of year also when I notice these big clusters around my door and somebody's trying to knock on there and get yeah. in the house. Yeah, those are probably the Asian ladybugs, Ray. Um, this is the time of year again. They're trying to overwinter. They are a nuisance pest. However, again, you can um, either wash them off the wall or um, find out how they're getting in if they're getting in and make some arrangements to keep them out. How do these differ from our normal ladybugs? Well, for one, they're beneficial, believe it or not. And um, we can predict really on um, populations based on aphid activity. You know, if we had a lot of aphids, they had a lot of food to feed. So that can predict or determine how big these populations get. But if you were to look at the section right below the head, there's an M and that will determine whether that's a Asian ladybug or a, um, a native one that does not have that M. Okay, and then when you said that they're beneficial, are we talking about the native ones or are we talking about all, uh, all of them? All of them, ladybugs are beneficial. They're feeding on other insects that might be harmful to your plants. So we try to encourage that. But again, when our weather starts to get cool, they're trying to find a place to overwinter. So that's why they congregate on a house. It takes one, when they find an area of a house like the house behind us, they're drawn to that lateral, um, like a shelf looking, the siding. And that's because they think in their homeland, they're drawn to um, white cliffs. And so it's a, a um, horizontal plane. So a lot of times we'll find them on light colored homes. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say, so then the color of the home makes a difference then yeah. as well. They're drawn to light colors and it takes one to send out a pheromone to call the rest of them. So that's why we get these large groups of them. Okay, so say I'm not very careful or happen to leave the door open. Uh, is my vacuum gonna be my best friend as it is for other? Uh, it will be, <laughs> yeah. But you know what's kind of neat is if you're into it, you can actually try to overwinter them. So if you can, um, suck them up into a vacuum that's a bagless, and you can take some of those and put them into a cup with um, a moist towel and put them in your refrigerator. And you can save them till the spring and then release them out when the weather starts to get warmer. And when perhaps you have some aphids on your flowers that you want to get rid of. Exactly. <laughs> okay, so that's something I've never done before is <laughs> overwintering ladybugs in the refrigerator, but that's <laughs> learn something new every day. And that's it for today's Grow It Green.